Hi sunshines, I am running a tad bit late, but it's my birthday week. Hello, if you're new here, welcome to a new weekly vlog. My name is Khadija Zanae, and if you're new here, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Um, I upload videos when I can honestly get a chance to them. I'm not even gonna say it's on a regular cadence, but hi, hello, hi, how are you guys? But it is a new week, it is a fresh week, and it is our birthday week, yes! We are turning 29 this week. We don't have a lot planned, but it's like really like a self-care self birthday. And of course, we're kicking off birthday week with Pilates, okay? So we're headed to Pilates. We're running a tad bit behind, but we're just gonna check the outfit of the day. This is a two-piece workout set from Active, um, I wanna say Active Avenue. It's just a blue, kinda like snake print or crocodile print. Um, I know I'm starting to embrace like the whole sports bra thing without a bra. It's taking me a while to get here, and I, I know you guys can't see, but I have on my Target clogs, and I'm gonna wear my Lululemon belt bag. Um, and I just have my hair and a half up, half down. So, we are about to head out the door. I just have to pack my bag up. I just need to pack my bag up real quick. at this point we are running super uber late um it's 10 36 and i definitely want to be on time so i can get a good um spot in class so just gonna switch this back over really quick um yeah and this is in case i go out all my keys. My keys and then oh to take them under her. Um actually I'm gonna put my glasses out now. And then put these glasses in there. Just to have some color. But we're out. It's like I said, this is the outfit. Here's my shoes um, to match my bag. Keys, phone, and we're out. Right. We just made it to Pilates. Um, Lord Jesus, there's something in my mind. So we're on time. So we made it to Pilates, we're on time. Um, and we're trying a new class today. So we're trying a tower class, I think that's what it's called. Um, very exciting, very. Um, but we shall see how this goes. But it's 10.53, class starts at 11, so I'm going to go ahead and head inside, and I'll talk to you guys later. I'm not going to take you guys in there because cameras aren't allowed. Um, phones and shoes are not allowed in there, so I'm pretty sure cameras aren't allowed either. So, um, you guys should see me after. So, we just wrapped up Pilates. Pilates was so good. I don't know if I told you guys this before, but we did a tower class, and this was my first tower class, and oh my god. <laughs> Oh my God, no one prepared me for this. Definitely giving dominatrix, like it was, I don't even have the words for it. It was very, let's just say different. Um, but we're headed to Trader Joe's, me and Amanda. Um, we're about to, oh, that's supposed to turn back right there. Oh, this is an, I've never been to this Trader Joe's and so we have to park in a garage. So, once I get parked, I will see you guys later. So, yeah, we're headed to, um, we're about to head into Trader Joe's. I just want to grab a few things. I need some, like, strawberries for the week. I need, um, some strawberries. I need, and some other, I just want to pick up a few things, um, just for the week. 
and yeah, so. I love pumpkin fruits. I like it. I like regular race. I don't like high cream I just bought it. Seven dollars for I got to go out and get it. So far, or in the cabinet. It depends on which one it is. Um, I'll tell you when I was doing the jacket. Yeah. Like I said, it was solid. But Justin wasn't just sampling. He was saving the whole thing. Exactly. Uh, I was just eat like one or one two. two. Just to see if the bag And I was like, you got to buy it now. You took out one of the stems. <laughs> <It's not laughs> you got to buy it now. You <laughs> All right, lovelies, we are back from Pilates. Um, like I was saying, we went to Trader Joe's with Amanda. I probably caught a glimpse of that, I think. I put thing in part of my hair. Um, but let me scoot you guys back so you guys can see me. Um, yeah, so I have a new TV set, as I said earlier, from Active Avenue. Um, look at that, look at those. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do a quick Trader Joe's haul. Um, let me see. Yeah, so I got some candy pecans for my, um, I had a protein box from Salad and Go the other day and it had grilled chicken pecans and tomatoes so good like oh my god so good so what i'm thinking for this week for a quick little snack i may do candy pecans breaded chicken and um grapes because we have some grapes left so i'm thinking about doing um salmon pasta actually let me take the salmon it's not gonna take long for it to for it to um, thaw out. So, we have some stewed salmon. So, which is already, it's already cut up, already skinless. We just gotta thaw it out, toss it, and whatever, and then cook it. Um, Ace wants to eat pizza, yeah, eat pizza. Um, so, I got the Parmesan for that. I got a few bananas. Cause I like to eat bananas, but I also like to have bananas in my smoothie. So I want to get a separate pair. Um, also got some sun sweetened dried cranberries and this just to put on top of my oatmeal. Um, I'm trying out this cold brew me and Amanda got. Um, I also love stir fry. I love like hibachi and things like that. So I realized when I was looking at a um, video, a cooking video the other day, but I needed sesame oil. So I got some sesame oil because I already have um, soy sauce. And I also saw this matcha green tea. I've been into making my own matcha lately. Never mind my nail, y'all. I've been into making matcha lately. So, and I love green tea, of course. So I got this matcha green tea. So let's see how that goes. Um, also, I'm going to try to like, I'm making homemade Alfredo, of course. But I'm also going to try to put this Cajun style Alfredo sauce in there. It's a spicy and creamy Alfredo sauce bursting with Cajun style flavors. So, um, only has about one gram of protein. It doesn't have any sugar, honestly, less than no gram. So that's really good. It has about six grams of carbs. So this is actually really good. And the serving size is about one fourth. 
and I'm trying to do better about portions so I'm actually am going to portion out one fourth of this because I'm already doing a homemade alfredo sauce and just um mix it in just for like a little spice so this is going to be exciting um also got so in my protein box from Talon and Go the other day, it was actually grilled chicken, but the grilled chicken at Trader Joe's is so expensive. So I ended up getting these chicken breast nuggets. And these might be good for just a little snack. They have about 16 grams of protein, no sugar, um, about nine six grams of fat, 200 calories, and it's about four per serving. So I was like, this isn't too bad. I can pop these probably in the air fryer in the oven with my candy pecans and a few grapes and then I'm good for a little snack or for lunch. So, and a few little crackers or something, I don't know. Um, got the heavy cream to use in the Alfredo sauce. I picked up some chopped onion because if you guys are anything like me, I hate chopping onion and I already, I'd rather have it like this so I can just scoop it out rather than like having to cut up onion every single time. I love this chicken fried rice. Like, oh my God, like a quick dinner. Oh, love it. Um, got me some more strawberries because I'm almost out of them. The ones I have are going bad. Um, I got some broccoli to put in the Alfredo. Um, so it's going to be like salmon seafood or salmon um, broccoli Alfredo. I got the spinach tortellini and then I got some cheese tortellini. So what I'm actually going to do is like mix them up. I'm going to do half and half and mix it up. Um, so we have spinach and cheese tortellini in our um, pasta. This has about 11 grams of protein in per serving, so that's really good. And then this has about About 10 grams, so it's a pretty good size serving of protein for each. And that was my Trader Joe's haul. We're probably gonna have, um, or actually, maybe the broccoli on the side. Yeah, and we're gonna have um, baked sweet potatoes for dinner. So baked sweet potatoes, broccoli, and pasta. And I spent about $47. And Ace is actually going right now to get some water because we're out of water. So we try to, um, we probably go through like a case, depending on where we get it from. If we get a small pack from Tom Thumb, we will let it go through that. If we get two, go through that in a week. If we get from, honestly, we go through water in a week, a week's time. We have to buy water every single week. And because we're about to get ready to move, we're actually thinking about getting a, um, a filter. Cause so we'll have a different refrigerator. We'll have a side by side refrigerator. So hopefully I can find a way to get like get a filter installed on the refrigerator. If not, we're probably gonna get like a Brita filter. But even then I'm feeling like we're probably gonna have to buy like the cartridge for it. Very like probably once a month, honestly. And I should, cause I'm not sure how often it has to be changed anyway, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to get, like change our sales like once a month, so. That is the haul. Um, I gotta find somewhere for these things to go in the freezer because the freezer is kind of already packed. Um, I used to already had a snack today. I actually may make me a smoothie. Um, yeah, I kind of want a smoothie. So, I may make me a protein smoothie. Um, just for like a quick snack um, until I like cook something later. And then probably chill. I wanna chill. Pilates was good. We did the tower. Um, y'all, if y'all haven't did the Pilates tower, oh my God, it's very interesting. It definitely is giving dumb a matrix when you first walk in, it's very intimidating. But as you go through the movements, it does get a little easier. Let me take my sunglasses off. As you go through the movements, it's it does get like a tad bit easier um and i was definitely feeling the burn because when i do regular pilates i'm not gonna lie i really don't feel the burn like that in the reformer class but with the tower the burn was there like in my legs like oh my god i was like is this part not over is it is it not over yet so 
got a nice little burn um and i really love how it works like the arms it works the legs it works the abs i think that's why i probably got like a little pump now and then a lot of the movements because i'm trying to work my mind to muscle connection was glute based and i was like wow this is what i need so what i may do because i did do a stretching class earlier this week i think i may actually start incorporating the reform do one reformer class do one stretching class like in the middle of the week and then do one tower class so instead of me doing the reformer class hmm, how would i do that i don't know i have to figure out a schedule but i think i may just do i'm gonna try to do pilates like two to three times a week nowadays and i also want to add in solid core because solid core is like very upbeat where when i go to kiva it's like very slow paced very beginner friendly not much so I'm gonna try to figure that out but I think I've been doing pretty well even though like I have been like lifting um and increasing like my protein and weight like that so I do feel like I'm shaping out the pounds are not going out which is fine but I do feel like I'm shaping out because like even in this set even me putting this top on in these pants like was so much easier um and then I think my body is like is getting back in the moment they're saying it's saying like okay girl oh okay we're working out again we're back in routine so i think my body has taken that time this week so i've been very much like in a routine getting up um wednesday was probably the only day that i did not work out but we did a lot of walking because we were apartment shopping and i feel i think i think my body still feel like okay girl we're working because it's hot outside um so but yeah so yeah but we're gonna sit back, enjoy um, this slow Sunday, probably get some vibes going. Um, I'm probably gonna play like a little. <sighs> oh my God, y'all, we were talking about nail shapes and we were talking about how people, these are Meg the Stallion's nails. And we were talking about how people get their nails done and Meg the Stallion has like the lipstick. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god but yeah i have to yeah and then i have to do mine or i have to figure out whether i'm gonna get, like do them myself or with press on or something or get them done for my birthday i really want to get like a french dip or like an ombre french dip um for my birthday just so i can have but i feel like i'm busier in september than i am august i don't have that much happening this month so i feel like there's no need for me to get my nails done it's just like probably pop on some press-ons for my birthday and then but i think honestly yeah that's probably what i'll do i'll just pop on some press-ons for my birthday and then september i'll probably get my nails done also we have to start searching for our outfit for beyonce I've been seeing the girls talk about how they're stressed out and I'm keeping this thing real simple. We're going to wear tennis shoes. We're going to wear our nice cute, probably crop top, bando top and some like joggers with some cargos. And we're going to keep this real cute and sweet. I got these black chucks that I got for like $14, $15 that I'm going to wear. Um, I'm not wearing my Obby parts because they are not like walker friendly. I know that from the, um, the sneaker ball. But I'm going to like put all this stuff up, kind of clean off the counter. I don't know. Oh from the water he took the car down he thought, i'm like where's that come from but yeah i'm gonna add oh put up some tunes that's how i was doing so what do you want to listen to it's sunday um i don't like the vibe i had in the car let's let's dreams so we're gonna start off with some jasmine sullivan she should be coming up on the cd soon and we're gonna vibe out on this good sunday so Check in with y'all later.
since I've been on the camera. Child, don't mind me. I look a mess. I just left the gym. Me and Asa um, went and went to the gym, did about 30 minutes. Um, we're trying to get back in routine for like our Sundays and stuff, but just wanted to hop back on camera and update y'all. I've cooked dinner, I've worked out, child, I did everything. Um, but this is what's for dinner today. Um, I made some seafood pasta with salmon, um, spinach, some spicy Cajun sauce from Trader Joe's. Um, so I made some homemade Alfredo sauce and then I added some of the Cajun style Alfredo to it. Um, I did not capture this on camera. I'm gonna eat some potatoes and then broccoli. Child, I forgot I was even cooking broccoli, so it's a mush. Um, then of course, adding parmesan cheese and all that stuff to the broccoli. Um, I actually didn't really feel like adding the lemon to the broccoli, so just regular broccoli and cheese. Well, not broccoli and cheese, but just broccoli with a little sprinkle of parmesan and water for dinner because I'm not drinking until Thursday. I think that's what I said. I'm not drinking until Thursday, so I'll pregame to bring my birthday in and then I'll drink Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then cut it back off until um, Beyonce, basically. So, then it'll be like a month or two. Um, I'll probably drink for Amanda's birthday, but still very limited. Just wanna see how my body changes without all the alcohol and all the additives, so, yeah. That's our day, so we're about to sit down and eat dinner. Probably find a good movie to watch and then um, we have to fold clothes and get ourselves ready for the week ahead. Um, I only work three days this week and I have a lot at work to do before I leave. Um, Cause I'm on vacation for a full week. So from Wednesday to Wednesday, well, Thursday to Wednesday. So we're looking forward to that. Try to look at this hair. I think this is my hair and then this is the clip in. And my hair is really the same length if you stretch it out as the clip ends. It's just crazy. It's just, shrinkage is something. I was like, that's crazy. But, all right, y'all, enough of my babbling. Talk to you guys later. All right, y'all, we are back. Um, it's later in the day, and Ace is about to wax my legs. And I'm probably gonna wax, I wanna wax his chest. So, we're about to see, we're about to set up. We need to set up somewhere though. Yeah, the bed ain't cleaned up. I said we shouldn't be the bathroom for everything. Okay, let's go in the bathroom. We gotta move this operation to the bathroom. All right, let me read the rest of the directions first though. So. Right. Do I need this whole thing? I think I'm about to do it inside of this. What's a pre-wax? Like, what can I use for pre-wax? Pass my phone. What's pre-wax? So they didn't give me a pre-wax product. So I ordered this waxing kit. Um, <coughs> Bro, when is the rain coming? <laughs> I got a notification from the Weather Channel saying, get your umbrellas for this week. I opened up the Weather Channel and say it's 102 the whole week. Oh weekend. yeah, I heard that on radio. Yeah. I'm like, Hi. man. Wait, so do you supposed to use an ore or do you supposed to use oil? Or do you supposed to use can I see the paper? What are you reading? Uh, well, because I don't have pre wax. Okay, I have sweet almond oil. It's like, okay, we're going to do it. Okay, we're going to do it two ways because we don't know what we don't. So, we're going to use. I don't have any. They didn't give me any pre wax with the package. They only gave me after wax treatment. Which is this. There is no pre-wax in here. So we're gonna use a little bit of almond oil on one 
we're gonna do test strips. Do almond oil on one and then powder on the other and see which one comes up easy. How you doing? You leaving half of the <laughs> <laughs> Probably don't First of all, that's not that's not me though. I mean it's the the material. Yeah, okay, this not... may not be that's the easy thing. Okay. We'll prep powder paint. Okay. Let so. me just give it a try. I know, that's enough. And then use the baby powder on this side. So put a little, little baby powder. Put it in or it's up to you. Alright. I feel like this is what my waxer does. Alright. And so you have to wax me in the direction of my hair is going, I think. So turn the wax warmer over for a few seconds. Turn it over. Okay. Remove the paper on the wax cartridge, which prevents the wax leaking off. And then you gotta get a test strip. Y'all, this is also our second time trying to do this, by the way. First time, I didn't take the top off the wax, so it literally <laughs> melted inside the top. And so we were like, okay. And so now you have to take one of these and roll it until it wax, until it starts like rolling out easily. Are you gonna loop? Hold up, I think you got the wrong way. Yeah, it's the wrong way. Yeah, I do it like, hold up. Somebody did what? Yeah. Like that until it start like because you can feel it on there a little bit. See, it's starting to come out now, so roll it a few times. Mm. Okay, maybe I'm trying with my strip. All right, look like it's coming out more than Okay, it's a little strip in it though. All right. Okay, I'm trying this side. All right, it got, you see that strip on some of them? Like it has a, a, like a spot in it where it's not, the wax not dripping? Yeah. I don't know. Okay, so. Good morning, lovelies. Today is another day of the birthday weekly vlog. As you guys see that I am drenched in sweat because I literally just left the gym. Um, I don't take you guys in the gym anymore because I feel like a lot of my workouts are repetitive, but yeah, today was a good workout day. Never mind the, the mess in the back. We're like starting to pack up. Don't have any room, all the above type thing. Um, but yeah. I just got in from the gym. I'm about to shower, throw on some clothes, and, and work. <laughs> Today is Monday, um, July 31st, so it's the last day of the month for Asa, and then it's just the first day of the week for me. I really don't have an end of the month type thing I have to do, um, considering he works in finance. Today is very essential for him. So, and he'll probably be working from the desk until we move, and then we'll both have a desk to work from um but yeah i'm just about to shower throw on some clothes um i don't have a meeting until like 10 so kind of take my morning slow probably fix me like a morning probably do some oatmeal i've been wanting some oatmeal and plus i bought those candy pecans and cranberries yesterday so i'll probably do that um with a little strawberry or blueberry that's probably what i'll do um, but yeah, just wanted to check in and say good morning. I'm trying to be consistent. This is my birthday weekly vlog. Um, so yeah, see you later. Hi there, y'all. It's been a couple of days and I know this is supposed to be like a birthday week vlog, but we moved. Um, so the only thing that you guys really have missed is that I went and got my nails done on Tuesday. These are it. They're like a, um, French ombre with chrome, and then yesterday I got a facial. I'm actually experiencing a little, sorry about that, but I'm actually experiencing a little irritation um, from the facial. Um, as you can see, I'm a little red, I don't know. It's blurry for some reason. 
Y'all, Asa finally cleaned out his car. Man. I've been asking Asa probably since we started dating to clean out his car. No, and the first thing you've been asking was me to make sure to put air in this car so you can stop sweating here with me. <laughs> I mean, I've really been riding beside this man. He had me last summer uh, sweating. You know, it's progress. That's the only thing we say. We say progress. progress. But we're about to run a couple of errands. Today's Thursday, day before KC day. Um, we're about to run a few errands. Unintentionally, all my appointments got pushed to the, actually the day of my birthday, and that's what I didn't want to happen. Um, so all the maintenance will be done on my birthday, um, such as hair, wax. Well, actually, everything has been done already. Um, but I guess. I've experienced some irritation from my facial yesterday as you guys can see I'm like really red um, like in my center area which I kind of knew that I was gonna experience the irritation because she tried never playing me and she didn't even ask honestly and honestly it's probably not a, a person that I'll be returning to uh, simply because she didn't ask me and then she didn't ask me had I had the service to done before me to me before um, I actually volunteered that information, but normally when you say that, they'll be like, oh, well, how was it? How was your experience? Because everyone reacts differently. Um, and you know, something told me that I was probably, well, first of all, I knew I was going to have irritation in a way simply because she tried to plan me. And then secondly, when she were, when she was like cleaning me up or whatever, she was like, oh, do you have rosacea? And I'm like, why would you be asking me if I have rosacea? No, I don't have rosacea. So... Then she probably knew that I was starting to irritate on the table and her asking me that question, yeah, put the context clues together. So that's what we're dealing with, but I'm gonna put some hydrocodazone on there um, and hopefully it clears up. Um, I was gonna do a Target order, but we're actually gonna go in Target today because I also need to get like some little storage cubes for when we start moving. So you guys are coming along with us for the ride today. Ciao. It's me again. Um, y'all, I don't know why it's got me all the way out here in Plano, but you just don't know. I want to go to Plano Lakes West. I kind of want to get a little drink and walk around because it's. KC Day Eve. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so, uh. We're currently in Target looking for, um, or getting inspiration for the new apartment because I feel like me and Ace's style differ and is different in a lot of elements. So we think about these. I like this. Well, I like the gold one. I don't know if I like the wood. Well, it depends on our color scheme. And then you can see something right here, like a little decoration and stuff. Like, like yeah. a little. Yeah, throw this in there. So, yeah. <laughs> What's this? It's an ice mold. Uh, so, yeah. We're in here looking at lamps. For example, he's a fan of the one on the right. And I like the one on the left. I think this is cool. What you think? Aerodynamic. -y. Where are we going to place that? On the end table. Like in what room? Is this the office? Is I think this? This is, this is definitely more like a living room. Or I will. So if we do living room, that means we have to get two. Okay. And not get one of these lamps. Would you? Would it make sense to get like? But I like the tall one too, though. So that means you no longer get a, a floor lamp if we get a desk lamp. That means now we have to get side tables. I'd pick that one if you agree to it. 
the more I love this. <laughs> yeah, we already know black my favorite color, like the black is the accent on. But, but is this for the living room or for the bedroom? So do you agree with me with doing the bedroom in black? Yeah. You know, it's my favorite color. We ain't got a fight right there. So do you think, so in that case then, I would think we would need to do a, um, like wood and black bedroom. Like a piano bedroom. Get forward. Get the adjustment matters. I guess I'm in a rush, I can feel it in my bones, dip toe to the sidewalk, now I feel alone, yeah, I'm looking for a ride, but I ride off on a home, please got a little slack, you know that I'm living on a lonely road, never ask for a price or right, I got enough to pay, and I'm tired of taxes, what if life is a gamble of rights, and it all comes down to the pretty chapters, oh, 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 oh. Doesn't even make sense. Yeah, I'm humble like a friend in need. Trying to be Apollo Creed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. We try again now. Does it either feel great to smile? Well, you know that everything can change in a moment. I've learned if we try our best, we can. So, Asa found this place called Spitz. We're still on Frisco. Um, it's a. The Mediterranean Greek rep place? Yeah. It's yeah, so we got um, I got the Mediterranean wrap. He got the street wrap, and then we got street fries to share. Um, it looks good though, so we're gonna see what it's all about. You ready to again? Yeah, we're not. I see you ready to again. Yes, yeah, so I was already. <laughs> he caught me on camera. I'm ready to get down to it. Okay, y'all. So we'll check in later. You didn't like yours that much, but I love mine. No, no, I like it was good. It. You know, and I wanted to get the same thing, but I'm like, I hate when we get the same thing. Cause I be want to try like different things. You know what I think? Those what? should be the moments you just trust your good. I know. <laughs> Some told you to go ahead and get it cause my jump was fine. <laughs> yeah, so you guys, we just love Spitz. Um, oh, let's go. Let's see what else. Um, and honestly, it was really good, except for mine i didn't really like mine i got the mediterranean wrap and then asa got the um street car and then we shared street the street fries yeah street fries amazing like oh, yeah. i definitely if i was to come back i would either get the street wrap like he got or get the street fries and just add like beef and lamb um it was a euro type place um so they had like beef lamb chicken they had an either the wraps, the salads, um, bowls, and something else. Um, but I, um, I'll have some B-roll of the menu. They even had cocktails. We didn't drink. We've actually been doing really good without drinking. Um, and caffeine. And caffeine. We've been on this matcha kick. And then, cause I know for me, I don't, I don't know why your reason you just, you just let me drink just because. Well, you know, I told you at first I got into this, this groove of working and drinking coffee to keep myself going. What's about like drinking in general? I was oh, just drinking in general. Yeah. I, mean, I just wanted to take my give my body a break, especially with us talking about now we're trying to eat better and yeah, uh, we've been actively more working out together and stuff now. So it's like I no need to have that going on actively if we really working towards something. So and that's true. And as we all know, <clears throat> like most drinks are like alcohol in general is like empty calories unless you're literally drinking um, Tito's. That's like the only one that's really like healthy for you. Um, and another reason that I'm not drinking is because like we go out a lot of times. Oh, let's just take a check out here. We go out a lot of times. And um we're spending like just like in there, like their drinks range from like 10 to 15. And just imagine like us two, we're literally spending 20, 30 dollars on one drink, one round, and it's either watered down, juice, like it's you can't, you know, it's not worth the money. Um 
so that was one of my reasons I was like I'm just gonna hold back from drinking because and a lot of times we drink just because it's like oh we're eating well let me have a drink oh we're out to eat so let me have a drink oh I'm doing like you don't have to drink to do everything and I found myself drinking just because I um, think the level of social drinking definitely increased before you realized exactly so even now if I go out I limit myself to like one drink um, if I want to have like two drinks, I'm like, oh, let me, you know, do two or three drinks. I'm like, okay, let me do two shots because I rather, if I'm going to like waste my calories, I rather like just waste it on something that's going to get me on a level without all the money, without all the like fritz and reels. Like, drinking juice. Exactly. <laughs> I fritz, I juice. So that's my motivation now. Um, but for Saturday, that's a whole different other story. I mean, it's just bottomless. It's bottomless appetizing, bottomless drinks. So. Oh, actually, it's not Uber too much, but do you want to take me to brunch? If you pick up the ship? It's right. Actually, because brunch is at one. So, I don't know. But yeah, um, that's the only exception. Um, and then tomorrow, of course, I probably get like one drink, but that's my birthday, so. Um, but yeah, so we had a great experience at Space. We would definitely, if we're ever out here, um, in the Frisco so area. It's not a train. Oh, I never did look it up. I gotta look it up. Right. I have to look it up and see if it's like another location. But if we're ever out here in the Frisco area, no, I can't even do it. What three seven? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> y'all, gas is so expensive. Do y'all see that? Oh. Gas is three dollars and seventy four cents. Oh my god, my oh. battery's about to die. But we're out here paying California prices for gas. Oh my god. And I don't even have it. I don't even need that much, but this would affect the it. My been. battery's about to die, but y'all, oh. it's ridiculous. But Spitz is good. I'm gonna look up and see if they have another location. Um, and I probably put their information down in the information box. If you're ever in the Frisco area, if we're ever in the Frisco area again, because we have to come back out here for HEB. I really like that Target because it was actually stocked. So, but yeah, my battery's dying. So I'll check in with y'all later. Good morning. It's my birthday. Woo! Oh my God. Good morning. Oh my God. You guys are cricket. But good morning, all of my KCs. Oh my God. Don't look at my hair. Like, it's a mess. But don't worry about that. We're actually about to go to the doctor. Uh, not the doctor. We're actually about to go to um, get my hair done. We have a full day. Somehow, all of my appointments got moved to um to today so i have my hair appointment which i'm going to be running late for because i'm at starbucks and then i have my um mas i have a massage then i have lunch with amanda and then i have a wax appointment and then i'm home getting ready meanwhile like my face is still still um let me see let it focus it's doing better today it looks a little bit better but i'm st my skin is still irritated so um i'm probably not going to wear makeup tonight i know um i'm not going to put the person that i went to i'm not going to I'm, I'm not that type of person but i i know that i'm not going to go back to that esthetician um and, I, and it's so crazy because i've literally been on the look for an esthetician since I've been in Dallas and I was like you know I'm gonna give her a chance and you know cuz I even a lot of people I know go to her and I'm just like yeah and then it was in the energy where you like I, I'm telling you hold up I need to get not there yet but I'm like literally like I I get there I sit down on the table and you don't even ask me like hey have you ever had this service before oh sorry good morning I have a mobile order for Khadijah I'm sorry. Could you repeat that name, please? Khadija? 
a mobile order? All yeah. Right, I'll see you at the Thank you. So yeah, so I got there and you know I'm I'm like I've had dumber planning before. I do dumber planning myself. Like I literally scheduled this service because I was like, oh, I could dumber plan myself, but I was like, why not treat myself to an actual facial? Um, could have kept that 150. Um, so next time I know to like keep doing it myself and it's so crazy because I literally just bought like you know how they're now um derm planning has become very popular by the way and I actually just bought like these automatic like razors and I bought them because I was like oh I'm just gonna do my my face myself Should've went with my first mind. Literally, Ace has been telling me like for the past, like, cause I've literally, and it's not like me to second guess myself, but I've literally been second guessing myself. Um, let me text um, Keisha that I'm getting Starbucks. But, yeah, so I'm like, I just don't understand. Um, I just don't understand like why you didn't ask me if I've had this service before because I've because I've had the service before I could have literally told you I cannot be dry dumber plant I cannot have enzyme like you can't use enzymes on me and you can't use you can't dry dumber plant me it's not that I can't have the service performed I just know what works for me and you're literally sitting there saying Oh, I can tell you have sensitive skin. I should have took that as a fucking red flag. Um, but you know, we move on. Um, uh, the birthday is not ruined. We just have to keep pressing. That's all. Keep pressing. So, um, I know Keisha's about to do me right. She's about to lay my hair down. So me and Keisha have been working over on my hair, and y'all see how long it is. So yeah, I can't wait to get a sip press. Honestly, I can't wait to get a sip press because it's gonna be bomb. Look how Happy birthday! <laughs> Y'all, oh my god. But birthday gonna look fine. Mr. Grant, this is a photograph taken by my investigator on April 14th. Is this you in the picture entering the Tarrant Bakery? Yeah, it looks like it. Can you tell us the significance of this bakery? They have the best baklava in town. Is that the only reason you go? My uncle owns the place. What is it? Is it a crime to visit my uncle's bakery? Your uncle, Armin Gazarian? Did he also go to prison for being associated with organized crime? Yes, but he turned his life around, which is why he opened a bakery to become an honest businessman like myself. <laughs> the first exhibit are your honor.
I get on camera while I'm at the red light, but y'all, I just love my massage and it probably was like one of the best massages that I've had in like quite some time. And I'm not new to massages, um, but I did decide, like I was supposed to do this earlier this year, it's like start treating myself to massages every month because honestly and truly I do work hard and I take care of so many people and I take care of so many things and I was like I just need to start doing something because I feel like getting my hair done and getting my nails done like I don't even really get my nails done as much I do try to keep up my pedicures but getting my hair done that's like a that's not a want that's a need <laughs> to be very honest that's not a want that's a need so I feel like me just getting my hair done that's not something that's like oh take care of yourself or you know you deserve it which I mean I do deserve it I deserve you know new bundles every now and then but I um I was like you know you deserve to treat yourself to something and like so I'm, I've decided to start going to hiatus and that's where I went today I went to that um the hiatus on the hill here in Dallas and my what um not West <laughs> My masseuse was Jelani, which I originally thought was going to be a female, but turned out to be a male, which I'm not opposed to. Um, because I knew that I had some like kinks that I definitely needed to like take. Oh, hold up, y'all! Hold up, y'all! A cricket. I definitely knew I had some kinks that I needed to take care of, so I was perfectly fine with the getting a male. Um, but like I said, I was not. Um, privy to that because you think you see the you see the name Jelani and then you hear the name Jelani you automa I automatically assumed that was a female um so nice surprise to me that it was a black male but he was very nice very good he told me like you know he definitely got the kinks out because like my back not even hurting anymore like y'all my back was in pain earlier this week and it felt really good um I I've tipped him of course because these people really be making close to nothing. Um, okay, I guess she's trying to let me over. Thank you. Um, but yeah. Oh, she was trying to get over. Child. Some people cannot drive. Because why you didn't get over when you were letting me over? But, um, okay. Anyway, so, but no, it was a nice experience. I loved it. Um, definitely will be returning. Like I said, I signed up for the membership. I have the summer special right now, um, which is literally the same thing as a regular special, but it just puts you like on a three month contract. So I was like, I could do it. I've been doing a lot of traveling anyway. And um, and that's really the reason why I didn't really do it at the beginning of the year because I was doing so much traveling for work, especially kind of when they put the responsibility on me. So they kind of like took from my pockets not to not to even like be that way but that definitely like took from the budget and i'm trying to get back into like aggressively saving so it was a lot of factors as to why i didn't want to do it but now like i'm like girl you're turning 29 some things just have to change and it was it's definitely like one of those things where it's like if you don't do it who else will you know um so i'm definitely into like you know self-care treating myself there's no problem with it. I shouldn't feel guilty for it. Um, and I am the main person that's always teaching, like, as long as your bills are paid, you're good. Like, if your light bill, your phone bill, your car note, your rent is paid, like, your basic necessities are taken care of, treat yourself. Like, if you want to go buy, like, a $10 coffee or, a, in my case, uh, a Venti Matcha or spend, like, $13, $40, like, go do it. I am not one to, like, be like, oh, don't, you know, save up. Child first of all and i totally believe in like forgetting money in order to save it like you can't spend money that you don't see so i save off top if i save like sixty dollars fifty dollars i save a hundred dollars at least i've saved something and some people have to realize at least you're saving something hell you're saving five dollars at least that's five dollars you know put to the side in case you need it you know like five dollars add up <laughs> i don't used to tell me pennies add up dimes add up all money like whether it's copper silver gold green money add up so yeah i am um definitely into like you know treating myself like i said treating myself so that's something that I'm, I'm i owe it to myself i turned 29 today and that's all it is to it you know um but we're currently on the way to have lunch with amanda um 
for my birthday. She's treating me to lunch. And then after that, we have a wax. And then I just have to head home to get ready for dinner tonight. Um, so yeah, very busy day. I've been going, I've been up since literally like three or four o'clock this morning when Ace left the house. So I'm just ready, honestly, uh, my face is doing better. Um, I did just put some more hydrocodone on. I'm not gonna do makeup tonight for my birthday dinner. It's gonna be real chill. I may just do like lashes, a very like natural face um, because of the irritation and hopefully it's clear, it's, it clears up better tomorrow. Um, but other than that, we're about to go have lunch with Amanda, okay? See y'all later. Blueberry cake sounds okay, good. Like, I think eight or nine o'clock, uh, a lot of the stuff goes half price. Really? You know, I'm not a big fan of tiramisu. That's what I was just looking at. I may get a slice. Yeah, right there, girl. This is more. You know, this is the first year I've been able to like get my free start drinking the Starbucks. Oh, do you have to get on your market?